Hello everyone and welcome to Talking Amateurs, the place for your amateur football fix on the internet. I'm Kim Morgan, messaging for you, news sports editor, and joining me for this bumper finals edition, uh, the great amateur league guru himself, Gordon Armstrong, and, well, Jeps Cross champion, Dwayne <laughs> Swift. How are you boys? Yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all pretty good. Yeah, bumper edition, it's the finals and... Uh, it's the last day of August right. too, by the way. Yeah, just smell that bit of September. I can in the see air, the green you know? around the ears and around the edges there. Playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> now, boys, uh, I got a memo midweek to suit up and look sharp for finals. I so must have missed that one. Must have missed that one. Yeah. Well, I, I don't get many of those memos, of course, and I just do as I please anyway. So as you know, so uh, the ties are on. Now, the tie looks great. Yep. Yeah. And then there were four. Got a. There were four. Yep. And Tigers four teams gone. as well. Yes, Tigers. Um, Surprise! I uh, I thought it gave them a big chance at uh, at Sacred Heart, but uh, no, the shocks. Um, I won't say they shocked us, but they um, they won pretty well. It was a good old fashioned jumpy out there, wasn't it, Shilty? Uh, shocks had six on the board before the Tigers got out of bed. Yeah, and that made it tough yeah. for uh, the Tigers played catch up and couldn't quite get the job done. Yeah, we see that a lot in finals, isn't it? It's the first team which settles to. Uh, that normally takes the upper hand, and unfortunately for the Tigers, it was shocks that were uh, on their game. The yeah, Tigers got back within a goal they got on the last turn, so shock had to show a bit of heart, didn't they, to hang on? Yeah, yeah when, when they're challenged, and uh, Sacred Heart hasn't got a lot of experience, uh, the Broadview players um, have been around a bit as a did one club, but uh, they did miss Darren Mitchell too, one of their key goal kickers, so that was a, a crucial loss for, for the Tigers. Who, the big, who got it done for shocks in the, in the finals pressure? Well, you probably look at guys like uh, Craig Tasborski, um, um, always a uh, hard matchup, kicked, kicked, a, five. kicked a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of goals. John Floriani is another player that's with league experience, yep. he did a good job. Um, and a number of um, Mitch Bosley came back on the side, he was good too, so it was good, good effort by a lot of players. Of course, that was the elimination final, and it means, as we mentioned, Broadview go on, shocks progress, and they'll play Salisbury North after the Hawks. Well, I thought surprisingly he lost on their home deck to Goodwood, but you can't you can't be too surprised when Goodwood step up uh, come September, Gilda. No, well, left with the egg on the face. Some of us tips is zero out of two, so we'll okay. be looking for a big, well, big rebound. I think I tip shop. You might, yeah, I think you did too. Yeah, yeah if, well, if we go back in the video review, I might be caught out there. It, uh, no, no, I think you're okay. But Salisbury North, uh, that was um, expected to, to win, but the Saints um, obviously ran over the top in the, in the last quarter. They're only three points up at uh, three quarter time, Goodwood, and uh, had a good last quarter, so they're on the way back. Yeah, I'm sure, did you push the panic button if you're a, a Hawks uh, player or supporter? Uh, certainly don't push the panic button. I mean, they've, they've done well to get the double chance, and you'd probably say they, even though they did have a loss, they'd have the upper hand against Shocks, just the uh, just the experience in uh, Division One finals. What does it mean now, Gordo, for the Saints? I mean, are they are they back? I mean, it was a hard fought win, but they got the win. Yeah, well, they're back to where they want to be, and that's a second semi um, uh, against Henley. Early in the year, Saints uh, had a, a horrific loss there by 68 points, I think, from memory. Mm. It won't be the same again this, this week, um, but um, they really want to be starting pretty pretty well. Just on the Salisbury North game, Salisbury North did lose to Sacred Heart by 68 points, um, also the biggest loss they've had at home all year, so yeah. that'll give Shock some confidence. That was back in May, but the last time they met few weeks ago, obviously Salisbury North got the job done against Shock at Stebio, so that both sides will have reason to yeah, belief. I did see the game, it was only a goal in the end, so both sides will go in with a bit of confidence, so it should be a good game. Alright boys, who are we tipping? Uh, let's start with the first semi-final, the knockout final, Shock v Salisbury North at Salisbury North, Shilty. Even though it would be um, a bit of a fairy tale for Shocks to uh, to progress from, from an elimination final, I just think that... Salisbury and North will get the job done down there. Gordo? Salisbury North, uh, I'd like to argue a case for, for shock, but I think Salisbury North only lost the two games at home this year, and I think they can get up by about three goals. Yeah, Salisbury North, I, I think they've got a bit too much talent all over the park. They've got some, uh, they've got some speed, got some good players. Shocks have been gallant, but I'm going to go Salisbury North as well. Uh, but having said that, all three of us have been wrong before, yep. so don't write Shock yes, off. We have. What about for the second semi-final? Chance to go through to the, the GF, and uh, obviously the combatants, Henley and Goodwood. I'm going to reverse my, my tip. I'm, uh, I'm going for uh, Goodwood Saints. I've been thinking Whoa. about this. Yeah, yeah. 
I, uh, I just saw signs um, on, on the weekend. Kenny, Kenny McGrew is just out there. Yeah, well, I'm, the I'm doing for Ken. So just fired up at the. Uh, he's just heard that corner. Yep. Yeah. I just think just the Saints can. He'll kick six <laughs> this week. I think. Well, he may well do, but they still may lose too. I think the Saints um, can get up by a couple of goals. Good signs last weekend, and I reckon the Saints will go directly through the grand final. Big call. Yep. It's a massive call. Um, Henley. Uh, the, the form team and they should win but uh, based on past finals experience um, yeah, there's a bit of a cloud that hangs over Henley I mean I don't like to say it because they've been the form team of, of the year but just Goodwood just seem to have uh, I don't know just a bit of a commanding sort of they always do, do do the Sharks in I'm not sure about that but they've won five flags in a row in Goodwood but look I know you boys are, what you boys are saying footy's played between the years a lot of it but the, the bottom line is I think Henley have got better cattle. I think they're, they're, they're peaking for it. They've had the week off. They've got more guns all over the park. The likes of Ken McGregor, is, as we said, just sitting out uh, side of the, as you have side of the desk. Uh, several other good Eagles players. I think Henley will win. Any arguments? Well, we have to argue because we've gone for the Saints. So <laughs> we, oh, no, no, I, I can see your point. But um, it, it should be a good game. But um, I would ride off both sides getting through the grand final anyway. So... But the Saints um, should rule. All right, well, we'll be back again to, to uh, debrief these games, yes. talk about the following week's games next week. Tell your friends about us. All clear.